Good morning, everybody. This is Carrie with Southern Sass Vinyl. Um, today, we're going to talk about the L1800 and how to use the waste pad resetter. Uh, so, if you have been printing or you've been doing head cleanings or or something like that, and all of a sudden the paper and the ink light start flashing, that usually means that your waste pad has reached the end of its service life and you need to reset it. Um, I, If you bought your printer from me, um, then I included the program. Um, you received a link to download it. Um, if you didn't, then you need to contact whoever you purchased your printer from um, to see if they can give it to you. Uh, this resetter is not just for the L1800, it's for several um, Epson printers. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have mine stored in my software and it's under Epson Resetter. Okay, so it's an adjustment program. One thing I will say is that if you have um, anti-spamware um, or firewalls, you may have to disable them temporarily to be able to use this program. Okay, it's kind of it's kind of a backdoor program. Uh, so I mine the L1800. It's already selected. So I'm just going to hit select. It's going to say all that, and you hit OK. This is where you, how you would choose which printer you want. I guess I need to be more specific than that. Um, so then you're going to go to a particular adjustment mode, and you want your waste pad counter. Hit OK. All right. So you're going to check both of these boxes, and you're going to hit check. All right, so this says right here that mine is only at 14%, so I really don't need to um, to reset it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for the sake of this video. I usually go ahead and just reset mine as part of my, part of my Monday morning routine, so that's why it's, it's really not that much. Um, so for this, for the L1800, this 80 column siding pad counter doesn't apply because you don't have one. So you only need to check this zero column side ink pad counter okay so you'll check it and this time you're going to hit initialize and it's going to walk you through what you need to do so here it's telling me to turn off the printer so i'm going to turn off my printer wait until the light the green light completely goes out all right and then you'll hit okay and then it's going to say please reboot printer so you're going to turn it back on give it just a second to come back on when you hear it kind of start doing its startup, you're good to go. All right, so you'll hit OK. Wait for just a second, and then go ahead and check that box again and hit check. Oops, sorry, you have to hit both. And hit check. So you see, now it's showing 0%. So you're good, you can hit finish, and then you just hit the X up here, and you're good to go. And you don't have to do that again. Um, how often you'll have to do that kind of depends on how often you do head cleanings um, and how much printing you do. If you do uh, power ink flushing, which you shouldn't really be doing a whole lot of that anyway. Um, but if you do it, then, of course, that will go against your waste pad counter also. And so anyway, so that's how you set it. If you have any questions, as always, you can reach out to me. Um, by email at sassyvinylhtv at gmail.com. You can also reach me on my website at southernsassvinyl.com and there is a contact us button and you can um, select that and it'll send me a message. Thank y'all so much.